<laughs> oh my god, I hate that. That was awkward. Okay, so. Welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. I'm Matt. And I'm Melissa. Now, our more astute viewers may notice that... In the bloopers. Th yeah, we are wearing different outfits. Um, Melissa's hair might be a little different. Um, I still look exactly the same because, you know, natural beauty you can't compete with. Um, we're also missing some ingredients in front of us. We, unfortunately, are not immune to technical difficulties. It happens to the best of us. Really, we've been sabotaged. I mean, like, beyond the fact that you guys still haven't subscribed, like, somebody actually physically corrupted our memory card, and we lost a bit of footage. A, a hater. Your fave came into our home. And, and we had an intruder. And hurt us. Hurt mm -hmm. us. Chose violence. <laughs> yeah. Woke up and chose violence mm -hmm. that day. So we're now just filming a quick makeup, you know, welcome and greeting because, you know, we feel like it's just something that you guys need from us. It is. And we do want to just give you really quick the lowdown, the ingredients, so you're not watching us make this drink saying what the What are we even doing? Yeah. Here? So we are going to be making a bourbon smash, perfect for Valentine's Day, for your man or woman if you love bourbon. Um, you're gonna need or yourself or everyone. It's a, mm. it's an everyday everyone drink. Okay, every day, Melissa loves everyday <laughs> drinks. <laughs> so you are going to need some bourbon. We are going to do Maker's Mark. You're going to need some triple sec, some Sprite, orange like a fresh orange, and some raspberries. And honestly, that's all you're going to need. Super simple, quick, easy. You are going to shake your bourbon, which as we discussed in the video. Improper, first, yeah, but we're first, doing it anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's all you need to know for this quick little cocktail. I wanted to just give you a the intro you deserved. Yes, we're a little low energy though, so it might not be the best you've ever seen from us, but this is what happens when you've been assaulted. And um, Pray for us. Yeah, assaulted, sabotaged, Humiliated. Well, not humiliated. It takes a lot to humiliate <laughs> us. But bear yeah. with us, and now we'll roll on into the to the real footage. We are going to actually shake this drink, which I know you're not supposed to shake bourbon, but unless your boyfriend's an avid bourbon drinker, no one's going to notice if it's bruised or not. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, what does bruised bourbon even mean? If like, you, I don't know. I've never tasted bruised bourbon. Yeah, if you are so irritating that bruised bourbon offends you, maybe you deserve to get bruised. And that's the tea. Period. So we're gonna that's an interesting tea. way to fit that in there. This is a fourth of an orange that we're going to juice into here. You know, I like to step back when she does the juicing because it gets weird. And then I'm also going to add the triple sec before I muddle these raspberries and then we'll shake it. So I thought muddling is what bruised it. Or do Any, both. Like, anything yeah, bruises. Anything, like, it shouldn't be. That's, it's very finicky, it sounds like. Yeah. So we're gonna Very high maintenance, this bourbon is. You're going to use just one ounce of triple sec. And then we're going to muddle away, muddle our little hearts out. Did you do this muddling and bruising in your professional bartending career? Yeah, we shook this drink. And nobody ever complained? No, these bitches drank this sh yeah. yeah, I think maybe it's just a technical thing. A cocktail or martini is bruised when it's been overshaken, overshaken. Adding slivers of ice and oxygen bubbles to the drink that give it a murky or cloudy appearance. Among pros, bruising cocktails is considered the mark of an amateur. Oh, they can kiss my ass. But I don't understand. Can you taste? Does it taste different? So stirred wouldn't have that effect. If you ever stirred it, would I guess? 
No, because shaking it, you're breaking the ice. Like, it, like when you're stirring it, it's like there's not a lot of movement going on if you're stirring properly. So you're gonna add two ounces of your bourbon. Oh, shaking it can make the spirit taste sharper. We love that. Nice, sharp, bold flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and Oh, my and bruise. And bruise this big bad boy. Is it sorry? To who? Or you me? I was he awake now. He was awoken with the um. The bruising. The bruising. Wow, I love that color. Did you mind fetching me the sprite? Sounds like you left out an ingredient. No, you put it over there when you remade our cocktails. Oh. Wow. Orange skin. And peel. And you're ready to give. You're, you're going to drink this. And your boyfriend's going to drink this. Or you could just be double fisting. Love that for us. So, if you don't taste it yet, I have to make yours. Well, then I won't tell you how it tastes. No spoilers. The point being is, two beautiful Valentine's Day cocktails for your Valentine's Day dinner. For two beautiful partakers of Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. To enjoy together. And then there's going to be girls out there that like bourbon, but this will still be your drink of choice anyways, so... you call these? Bourbon smash. We have our bourbon smashes ready and as you can see we're double fisting. I love this journey for us. I'm just Cheers. Gonna, I'm just gonna really soak in this one. Mmm. Like you it's can pretty good. You can taste the bourbon but it's like it's light. It's like it doesn't light. offend me. Like I wouldn't just like sit and drink bourbon on the rocks. Yeah, but you could drink this. Right, like this is really good. And it's interesting because it adds some just right amount of like warmth to the drink. Yeah. Because everything else is like sweet Fruity. or tart. Yeah. So it like kind of balances it out. That's what we call a complex flavor profile. Your fave. Honestly, I can't even. I'm sick of telling them about their fave. I guess you can kind of see where it's a little bruised, like it is a little cloudy, but I like that look. Like some of your relationships are a little cloudy too, so we why not celebrate Valentine's Day with a cloudy drink? We love a bruised aesthetic. Yeah, on the rocks too. <laughs> your relationship is on the rocks, so serve a drink on the rocks. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Your babe has never had a boyfriend, never will. Or your fave is such a sick freak that they always have to be in a relationship because they're not secure enough on their own. So pretty much your fave sucks. We can't say enough bad things about her. And the worst thing about her is that she doesn't subscribe to our channel. So don't maybe if be, she subscribed, don't be your fave. Maybe if she subscribed and watched our videos and took some tips on how to act, speak, how to act. <laughs> How to be how to fabulous speak. beings, how to look, how to cook. I know it's hard to look this good, but I mean, I'm sure people have taken my picture to the plastic surgeon before and said, this is what I want to look like. So you could be next, you know. Like, I obviously, hope, I hope you tag me when you come out with my face, but I'd like to see it. Long story short, cheers to us. Cheers. I guess we're switching back and forth. Love that for us. And for all of you single girls and boys at home, cheers to yourself. Obviously, you can make both and compare and contrast as you. As you black out. Yeah. We love a drinking holiday, and Valentine's is 
the drinking holiday. Well, I think every holiday is a drinking holiday. Like, a Tuesday is a drinking holiday. Like, President's Day? Drunk. Absolutely. Especially right now. (laughs) Labor Day. Coming out from 2016 to 2020, President's Day has turned into a marathon drinking day. (laughs) Earth Day? Hammer. (laughs) Earth Day? What did the Earth ever do to you, girl? Bye. Real high girl shit.